That's the last of the bandits. You've been a huge help, Yunaka. If not for you, we'd be scratching our heads in an empty shrine right about now. I can't thank you enough. It was nothing, really. I wonder who took it from the shrine in the first place. It must have been those bandits, right? Uh... Well... What's the matter? I have a... Uh... Confession. The thing is, I didn't find the ring. I stole it. Huh? I was strapped for money, and when I saw the shrine, I figured it might have valuables. I went inside, heard Micaiah's voice, and... Pow! There's the ring, staring right at me. I was just looking to make a quick bundle of dough. I, I'm sorry. I see. When I learned that you two were royalty, I panicked and... Kinda... well... lied. Really, I'm no different from those bandits. I'll accept whatever punishment you give me. Hold on. You were planning to sell the ring? Yeah. Well then, why didn't you? You could have run for the hills as soon as the Divine Dragon handed it to you. We're useless in the dark. Would have been easy to give us the slip. But instead, you stuck around and risked your neck for us. Why? Well, because of Micaiah. When she started talking to me, I got this feeling that I just couldn't shake. I felt like... like I had to help her get to the Divine Dragon. Yunaka has shown me nothing but kindness. Fighting by her side, I saw a bright path ahead. When I sensed Sombron's return, I called out in the dark. It was she who answered. I am to blame for entangling her in all this. Yunaka has done nothing wrong. I hear you, but she did lie to us. As Prince, I'm not supposed to let that go without some sort of punishment. Lay it on me. I can handle it. How about... joining our forces? Say, what now? We're on a journey to collect the Emblem Rings and defeat the Fell Dragon. I know it's a lot to ask, but... Will you pledge yourself to our cause? What do you think, Alfred? A fitting punishment? <laughs> I love it! Our army is pretty lean, so adding a new recruit makes a lot of sense. And Yunaka clearly has raw talent. She could be a real asset. I won't let you down. Thank you. Both of you. Don't mention it. And Yunaka, allow me to be the first to say... Hiya, Papaya. Uh... <laughs> Hiya, Papaya! Back at ya, Divine One! With that settled, let's hurry onward. You've got to cross into Brodia, right? Yes. Mother sent a letter to the Brodian King when we left the castle. He should be expecting us. Good. The Kingdom of Might. I'm curious to see what it's like there. Okay, so... Thank you so much! Oh, wow! Yes! <sighs> yes.
Huh? Is that... Hey! Hmm? You're the girl I met in Flora Milltown. Vale, wasn't it? Oh! What a coincidence finding you here! I'm glad to see you again. You left so abruptly last time, it really caught me off guard. Do you live around here? No, I'm just passing through. Well, looking for someone, really. Who are you looking for? A person I must talk to again no matter what. My sibling. You were separated then. I'm sorry. It's painful to be apart from one's family. Do you have any idea where to look? None. I don't even know what face to look for. We've been apart since I was very young. But they did give me something long ago. This. What a pretty stone. It's my good luck charm. I know that as long as I have this, we'll be reunited someday. I'm sure you will. But don't forget to take care of yourself. Look, your leg's wounded. This kind of thing happens all the time. It looks pretty deep. There. That ought to hold for a while. Thank you. You're quite kind to help a complete stranger like me. You're not a stranger. You saved my life, remember? That makes us friends as far as I'm concerned. And friends help each other. Friends? <laughs> Should I not have said that? No, no. I'm just so happy to have someone I can call a friend. It's like a dream. I can't recall the last time I was treated with such kindness. What do you mean by that? I'm sorry, but I have to go. Are you sure? Thank you for the bandage. Hope to see you again. There she goes. See you around, Vale. enjoyed our tea party today. Thanks for inviting me, Saline. The pleasure is all mine, Divine One. Our conversation made for an excellent spice over an already fine tea. <laughs> the tea was fine, wasn't it? That floral note it had was almost unbelievably good. I'm glad you appreciated it. The leaves were grown in Firene, you know. The delicate, subtle taste embodies the spirit of our kingdom. It is my utmost favorite. Yeah, I've heard the Firenes prefer the pastoral life over any kind of open conflict. That really came through in this tea. There's a Firenes folktale I think you might find interesting. Our royal palace is home to a spirit who ensures happiness for the virtuous. 
For thieves are interlopers, however, the spirit drives them off with mischievous tricks. <laughs> Imagine, driven off by the prankish antics of a spirit. No serious consequences at all. How effective a deterrent do you suppose such a spirit really is? <laughs> Even so, it's a lovely story. It's the kind of good-hearted tale that reflects the Pyrenees character, I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Well then, we must have tea together again sometime, Divine One. Vander, I owe you an apology. An apology? What for? I messed up big time. If I'd been quicker about getting to Lethos, I could have saved Queen Lumera. I know the Queen meant a lot to you. I'm really sorry she's gone. You are mistaken, Prince Alfred. If there is blame to cast, I bear as much as you. More, in fact, as I was her retainer. So you see, you have nothing to apologize for. But I... Without your presence, Prince Alfred, our losses may have been even greater. As I see it, I have ample reason to thank you and none to resent you. Well, if you say so, happy to help. Hey, uh, is it okay with you if I visit again? Of course. Let us share stories of happier times with Queen Lumera. Happier times, huh? Indeed. I think Queen Lumera would prefer that to brooding over our failures. Don't you? It's about that time, President Clan. I'm all set, President Fram. In that case, I call this meeting of the Divine Dragon Fan Club to order! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Our first and only agenda item is how to broaden the fan club's reach. President Clan, you have the floor. I think we should do something splashy to drum up people's excitement. Seconded. The only question is... what? I have an idea. How about we spread our message by making pamphlets? I'm listening. See, everyone's heard of the Divine Dragon, but only a few know the person behind the title. You and me? We could tell the world what the Divine One is really like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh, oh, how about this? We slap the Divine One's beautiful face on the cover and title it The Divine Dragon, up close and personal. Boom! Inside, we have an interview with every juicy detail folks could possibly want to know. Favorite foods, favorite weapons, hair care routine, shoe size, the raw, uncut story. <gasps> You don't like it. I love it! That's way less stiff and formal than what I had in mind. Just the sort of brilliant idea I'd expect from you, Madam President. I couldn't have gotten there without your suggestion, Mr. President. All right, let's get working on this pamphlet so we can hand it out all over town. Uh, wait. All over town? Why? Why would they do such a thing? It's just... not fair! Oh. Hey, Boucheron, right? Yes, and you're Fram, right? What... what is it? Do you need me for something? Um, no, I'm fine. I heard somebody crying their eyes out and I got concerned, is all. Ah, oh, right. Sorry for worrying you. I'm all right. Okay. But then what's with the sobbing? I was reading this book and I just get so swept up in the story. A book did this to you? People tell me I cry too easily. The littlest thing is enough to set me off. Okay, I gotcha. So what's this book about? Well... There are these siblings who are separated during a war, and later meet again as enemies. Huh. Sounds interesting. I'd be happy to lend it to you after I'm finished. Thanks for the offer, but I'll pass. I don't really... well, I'm not a big reader. Oh, well, that's a shame. Ah, 
What if I read it to you instead? What? That's sweet and all, but I couldn't ask you to read to me like a little kid. Oh, think nothing of it. I know you'd love the story just as much as I do. In that case, sure, why not? I've said it before, but I really admire those muscles, Boucheron. <sighs> oh, uh, I appreciate the compliment. Your triceps are especially well-developed. Mind if I feel them? Uh, anything you want, Prince Alfred. Hmm, yes. Incredible stuff. Practically a Fearnese national treasure. The forearm is perfectly sculpted, too. Wish mine was like that. Are you finished now? Oh, guess I got carried away there. You gotta admit, though, these muscles of yours are something else. I can't help but wonder what the secret is to getting beauties like these. Nothing special, really. Oh, that's what you always say. There must be some trick to it. Unless you're telling me they're all natural. How is that possible? Hmm. 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 <clears throat> that's a bit... Uh... A bit what? Is there something special about this one? No, Prince Alfred. It's just a bit ticklish. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Are you ready yet, Boucheron? Hmm? Ready for what? Ready to tell me what you're mixing into your food to get those muscles. <laughs> Not this again. I've told you before that it's got nothing to do with my diet. That's what you say, yes. But today, I'm going to get the truth. But that is the truth. Muscles come naturally to me. That's the long and the short of it. Still sticking to that story, huh? Because I should tell you up front that I've been watching you, Boucheron. You have? And? And I know you don't do anything but fish or read all day after training each morning. There I am, working up a sweat, while you sit under a tree with a book or a pole. There's no way you can do that and still stay in such incredible shape. So I assume that whatever you're doing on the sly really works. All right, listen. Wait, are you using magic? Unbelievable. The lengths you'll go just for some muscles. No, it's nothing like that. In fact, it's nothing at all. I'm done arguing with you about this. People shouldn't see the prince's retainers quarreling. Good day, Etienne. Right. That's just what he'd say if he was hiding something. For all I had hoped to discuss with you, now that you are before me, I am lost for words. I know what you mean, but we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other. Understood. I am your weapon. I am ready to serve. Me? Okay! I'll do my best. We fight for peace. Here goes. My will is firm. Yeah. 
I won't get lost. Emblem engage. <laughs> Cannot afford to lose. Need some help? You were beautiful while you lasted. What a lovely scene! Ah! You were beautiful while you lasted. For the Divine Dragon. Divine Dragon.
Steward. I hope you find peace. Please grant me your strength. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. again. Emblem engage! There is nothing to fear. of the stewards. Huh! <laughs> 
Hey, thanks! I'm ready. If I can, I shall. Is that sufficient?
<sighs> you still haven't found her? Sorry, boss. The thief was too quick for us. We lost track of where she went. We're supposed to be the thieves, you bums. We steal. We don't get stolen from. Well, she can't have left this fortress yet. Go catch her. No excuses. Yes, boss. Boss, bad news. Am I about to hear an excuse? There's a tough-looking bunch headed right for us. They're armed, too. Typical. How much worse can today get? Whatever. This won't stop us, either. Battle squads in position and ready to move. I want our thieves in the treasury now. Once the treasure is secure, get to a safe place. Got it, boss. <laughs> a whole room full of treasure! I'm sure no one will mind if I help myself. Hey, is someone talking? Sounds panicked, whoever they are. Move your butts and get in position. Is there about to be a fight? Oh, I'd better find some place to hide. I guess this is my best option. Can you believe the luck we're having today? Less talking, more stalking. Make sure your gear is ready before things kick off. Uh-oh. This is way too many bandits to make a clean getaway. Hmm. The townsfolk told us about a bandit base. And I'd say we found it. I feel sorry for all those poor villagers who had their valuables stolen. Precious keepsakes, family heirlooms. Let's see if we can put them back in the right hands. Though, it looks like we're in for a fight before that can happen. All right. Lend me your strength. I live to fight again. Yes, here. Lend me your strength! No! There is nothing to fear. For the Divine Dragon! Whatever you say. Yes. Where to? I'm ready for more. We fight for peace.
cannot afford to lose. you right. There is nothing to fear. Fight again. Good fight.
Pretty weak. Is it over? is mine. Dang! He found me. What's a little girl doing here? This is a bandit fort. It's no place for children. But you're not a bandit, right? So why don't you keep me safe? Well, I mean, I could, but... It's a deal! Thanks a million! You might not think so, but I'm pretty handy in a fight. Let me help you help me! I smell gold! The Divine Dragon. Oh! 
flowers. Been cut. Guess I didn't train hard enough after all. Sorry, but I'd better retreat for now. Like that, maybe? Is it my turn? Thank you. What's our move?
Train for. Damn you for playing us for fools. You'll never get your hands on that treasure. Unbelievable. This is so embarrassing. I'm gonna pull out and get back to my training. Here's hoping the local authorities will keep these bandits from causing any more trouble. You guys are really strong, huh? Do you have room on your team for me? 
You want to join us? I should warn you. Our battles will be much more grueling than that. You'd be placing yourself in danger. I know I'm small, but I pack a punch. I can take care of myself, guaranteed. Besides, I've got nothing better to do. Not until I figure out where my family went. You lost your family. It gets lonely on the road. Maybe if I travel with you folks, our paths will cross someday. Well, if that's what you want, I have no objections. I'm the Divine Dragon. Looking forward to working with you. Hang on, what? You're the Divine Dragon? My sails! They're gonna go through the roof! Oh, and the name's Anna, but you can call me Lady Anna. Pleasure to be in business with you. Thanks! Morning, Divine One. Good morning, Alfred. That's quite the smile. Having a good day, are you? You can say that again. I got up before sunrise and did tons of training, even got an early run in. And the cherry on top? I get to see your bright and shining face. What a day to be alive! <laughs> There's no need to tease me. Who's teasing? Wouldn't you be just as happy to wake up to the sight of a friend? <laughs> well, yes. I do feel happy when I see my friends. See? <laughs> Me too! But, uh, look, isn't there anything I can do for you? You've been awake a while, but it must be hard. There's bound to be a lot you're still adjusting to. Tell your friend Alfred all about it. Let me think. Hmm. No, there's nothing bothering me at the moment. Good, great. But if there is something, well, I want to be the first to know. Before you left Lethos, you asked me as a friend to teach you things, to help you adjust. And knowing you wanted to be friends just tickled me. <gasps> Our friendship makes me happy too, Alfred. I picked up the letters like you asked, Vander. Ah, oh, yes. Set them down over there, will you? I also brought a letter opener. Thought you might need it. Very good, thank you. Clan, before I forget, will you deliver this package? Oh, yes, sir. Answering letters. <laughs> a man of my age should put his fighting hand to nobler purposes. <sighs> Is something the matter? What? Oh, uh, no. Everything's <laughs> hunky-dory. Well, then, why are you standing there gawking? I told you to deliver that package. Y yes, sir. On with it, then. A faithful servant of the Divine Dragon wastes no time. Hmm. If you gave me some real steward work to do, maybe I'd take it more seriously. Pardon? N nothing! I'll deliver that package for you right away, sir.
Fram! Huh? Why are you loafing about? I told you to sort through the offerings. Oops! I completely forgot. Grant me the patience. How do you manage to bungle even the smallest task? This is exactly why I fear for your future. I meant to do it, honest. It just kind of slipped my mind. You know I will not credit that excuse. Forgetting is the same as doing nothing at all. Imagine how disappointed your parents would be if they found out. <sighs> Fram, I have high expectations for you and your brother. You are my successors, after all. For my peace of mind, and to honor the mother and father who left you in my care, do better. Yes, sir. This is the last time I let you down, Vander. Promise. Very good. And how fare you today, Prince Alfred? Thank you ever so much for inviting me. No, that's too stiff. I should try to sound warmer. Is something amiss, Clan? Uh, where did you come from? My apologies. I thought I heard someone mention my prince's name. You heard right. Prince Alfred invited me to work out with him today. But I've never spent time alone with him before, so I'm nervous about saying the wrong thing. A private exercise session for the two of you. That's right. Hmm. Not a solo or a group session. What could this signify? I don't think it signifies anything. Ah, but pay me no mind. So then you are practicing your greetings to the prince? Yes. I don't want to embarrass myself by being accidentally rude. Maybe you could be my sounding board, Louis. I'll talk to you like your Prince Alfred, and if anything seems off, you can correct it. A capital idea. When it comes to manners, you have turned to the right man. There are a lot of people here. Uh, yeah. That's kind of the point. This is our chance to tell everyone how great the Divine Dragon is. Yeah, but... Come on, we both worked so hard on these, we gotta let the people see them. Or, instead, we could quietly put them down over there and... Okay, showtime. I'll start us off. Listen up, everybody. My brother has a real important announcement to make. Aww. Psst. Clan, that was your cue. You're the one who said people would think we're weirdos if we didn't introduce ourselves. I'm just, uh, kind of nervous. Everyone is staring at us. This is a real mess. Fine. I'll introduce both of us, okay? Oh, uh, okay. All right, then. We are Clan and Fram, the 33rd Stewards of the Divine Dragon. We will answer all your burning questions about the Divine One with these lovely handbound. Stop. Please stop. This was a bad idea. What? I can't do this. There are too many people. It's embarrassing. They're all gonna think we're weird. Who even cares about the Divine One's shoe size? We do. Oh, I feel like such a wimp. I thought I could be a steward. I'm not even cut out to be in the fan club. Sorry, Fram. Clan, wait! Hmm, you're sure about this? Extremely. You're not leaving until you've drank every drop of my new and improved muscle stimulant. Well, anything for strength. That's the spirit. I put a lot of research into this one. I guarantee you'll see results. That's great news. Thanks for putting so much effort into this. It's just... <sighs> you couldn't have done anything about the smell? Sorry, you'll have to hold your nose. It was unavoidable with all the different ingredients I used. Like what, exactly? In researching this drink, I interviewed a lot of hard bodies. I found out their favorite foods so I could mix them all into one potent stew. All of them? At once? Well, all of those plus a few other things I thought might help. And how does it taste? Couldn't tell you. I haven't tried it. Unbelievable. You waited until I could try it first before having any for yourself? I'm touched, Etienne. It's all part of the job. Aww. 
Aw, oh, I'm ashamed to have been so nitpicky over little things like taste and smell. I want you to know how grateful I am, Etienne. Bottoms up! To strength! To strength! <laughs> well, what did you think? One thing's for sure. It's not fit for human consumption. I was afraid of that. You're just about the strongest person I know, Marth. How can I be more like you? You can accomplish great things if you let your bonds with your friends become your strength. It pains me so that I was unable to protect Queen Lumera. I am ill with the guilt of it. Gone she may be, but the will of Lumera lives on. Bringing her wishes to fruition is our duty. I am your weapon. Yes. Emblem, engage! As your steward. For the Divine Dragon! Let's hear it. Here goes. Any customers? I won't get lost. For you, anything. Let me at him. I live to fight again. Yeah. 
Serves you right. My resolve is unchanged. Feeling better. Emblem engage. One strike will decide it all. to lose. Here! 
Is it over? Pretty weak. Of the stewards. <laughs> what a joyous feeling. rest it deserves. Find peace. <laughs> oh, you're too nice. Do what I must.
Here, Divine One. For the Divine Dragon.
Ah. Are you all right there, Divine One? Boucheron? Why do you ask? Oh, I just thought you seemed a little worn out. Ouch. You noticed? Uh, I am feeling sort of sluggish. Hmm, that's not good. You're eating three meals a day, I hope. Yes. I don't think my diet is the issue. Well then, how about your sleep? Hmm, about the usual. Hmm, so you're eating and sleeping fine, but you still feel groggy. It could be stress. You think so? I wouldn't be surprised. Going to war is stressful for anyone. What have you been doing as stress relief? Nothing. It hadn't even occurred to me. Why? What do you do? I have several ways to blow off steam. Like going up a mountain alone and spending some quiet time fishing. Wow. That does sound relaxing. Would you like to join me sometime? The alone part of it is optional. Really? Yes, I would love that. Please come get me the next time you head out. Make it nice and shiny. It's already clean. No need to focus there. You take excellent care of the ring. You'll clean it well. That bit's clean. Not quite. Not quite. Your cleaning skills are impressive. Handle that gently. 
Overdoing things a bit? You are a strange one. You are a strange one. Is that not a waste of time? I appreciate your upkeep of the ring. Be thorough now. Thanks for taking care of this for me. So, we made it across the border. We're in Brodia territory now. The landscape here, it's so different from Firinae. Nothing but rugged terrain all around us. <gasps> Watch out! <laughs> We're under attack? Name yourselves! <sighs> I would make the same request of you. After all, you are the one sneaking over our border. <sighs> Identify yourselves, or I will assume you are thieves. This time, I won't miss. I'm the Divine Dragon from Lethos, not a thief. I am Alfred, the heir to the throne of Firne, and your ally. The Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Firne? That's right. Now I would like to know, who are you to shoot at us like that? <laughs> I... I am so, so, so sorry! Huh? Uh, I threatened the Divine Dragon and the Crown Prince of Firene. I'm begging, please find it in your hearts to forgive me! It 
It's all right. No harm was done. That was quite the bow, soldier. Must have been hard on the knees. Hmm, wait a second. Your face looks awfully familiar. You're not just a soldier, are you? Uh, no, I'm Alcrest, second prince of Brodia. Prince? I thought so! How's it going, Prince Alcrest? Even worse than usual. I'm sorry for taking so long to introduce myself. Oh, these are my retainers, Lapis and Citrine. Honored to meet you and your coterie. Yeah, welcome to Brodia. I can't say I feel very welcome. You still look like you're ready to kill us. We're merely a little tense. My father, King Morian, received word from Queen Ev that your party was on its way. He ordered us to meet you at the border and formally welcome you to the kingdom. We've been waiting for a long time, and all we encountered were bizarre creatures or bandits. We assumed you were more of the same. I'm sorry for the delay. We had to take a little detour. Still, if your arrow hit the Divine One, Brodius standing would have been seriously hurt. Be more careful next time, Prince Alchrist. I will. I really am sorry. You cannot be held liable, Alchrist. You had no way of knowing who they were. Was it not possible for your party to arrive in a more royal, more resplendent manner? This is the Kingdom of Warriors. If you can't dodge one arrow, you're not worthy to enter. Here, the weak serve the strong. Maybe we should give you a little test, hmm? What did you say? She didn't mean that. Apologies. My country places too much value on strength. Besides, you have nothing to prove. I am well aware of your battle prowess, Prince Alfred. Oh, well, thank you. I am so sorry for all this. So sorry. And I'm sorry it's me greeting you instead of someone better. You can stop apologizing. I'm grateful that a prince is here to receive us personally. Really? You're grateful to see... me? Yes. Honored, in fact. <sighs> How polite of you to say so. Charming as well as divine, I see. Could you do me the favor of being... less dazzling? I find it... Uh, so hard to shine as it is. Uh, all right. Now, come with me. I can show you the way to Brodia Castle. We will arrive at the Grand Crossing soon. That will take us to the castle. Good. Divine One, if I may. I was wondering about something Queen Ev said in her letter. Is it true that Illusia has released Sombron? It's true. An Illusion we fought told us as much. I see. We'd heard rumors to that effect, but I didn't dare believe them. <sighs> Those neighbors of ours. You will need all the rings to defeat the Fell Dragon, right? For generations, my country has possessed the Ring of the Young Lion. The Ring of the Young Lion? It has a red stone and a certain... gallant aura. Diamant, the Crown Prince, told me he's been hearing a voice from the Ring. He's a remarkable person. I'm lucky to be his brother. You really admire him, don't you? Oh, yes. He's strong, wise, humble. The king adores him, as do our people. My brother is cut from the noblest cloth. I'm afraid I was made from the tatters. There's no need to be so hard on yourself. Ah, there it is. The Grand Crossing. There seem to be a great many soldiers out today. Wait a moment. Those are... Illusion soldiers! They're occupying the bridge! No! Finally! It took you long enough! Very rude to keep a princess waiting! Very rude indeed! Princess? That would be me! The second princess of Illusia! Lucia's second princess? Uh-huh, in the flesh. And you're the divine dragon. Uh, right. Ew, I knew it! I can totally tell. You're the prettiest. It's a dead giveaway. I always thought Lumera was the only divine dragon. 
You could have knocked me over with a feather when I found out there was another one. <laughs> wow, those mismatched eyes of yours are something to see. Don't come any closer. You wicked illusions aren't worthy to approach the Divine Dragon. <laughs> Nobody asked you, Brodian. Besides, we're not the wicked ones, you are. <sighs> My father says Brodia is a greedy, barbaric country. You're always invading our territory, taking our land. It's the worst. Do you know how many people you've hurt? Not just soldiers, but regular people. We're not just invading to expand. We are keeping your vicious, unpredictable kingdom in check. I take it you're retaliating? Launching a full-scale invasion to take your revenge? <laughs> Hardly. I couldn't lead such an ambitious attack. I'm just here to take your rings. By order of my father, King Hyacinth. He told you to do this? Yep. Now, if there are no more questions, fork over the goods and we'll all go home breathing. Never. Aww. I thought nabbing your rings would be the easy job. Lucky big sis getting to attack the castle instead. The crown princess? She's going to attack Brodia Castle? Oops. Probably shouldn't have said that. We must go right away. Huh. As if I'd let you pass. My father is going to be so proud of me. All illusion soldiers! We must deal with them quickly and return to the castle. There's not a moment to spare. Of course, Prince Alcris. Leave it to us. I wager we'll be back in time for dinner. Such confidence. But I'm still concerned about casualties. I will protect you both. <sighs> so brave. But, uh, as your retainers, it's really our job to protect you. Now then, get behind me. 
Oh, Alcris, oh, don't be ridiculous. You're an archer. You should be at the rear. Hang on! Citrine! You should also be in the back! Ah, uh, you too. Looks like it's starting. To your positions, everyone. Oh! The Divine Dragon is absolutely... <sighs> absolutely not as cute as we are? Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's the spirit. Outshine the enemy, and then defeat them. Now, let's steal those rings and do Hortensia proud. Ready to start? Yes, Rosado. Let's make quick work of them. The Divine Dragon looked right at me. For the Divine Dragon. I'll do my best. Lend me your strength. Stay back. I'll handle this. I can knock down anyone who stands in our way. One last time. Come a little closer. 
I'll give you a good long look. Emblem is a formidable foe. Nearby enemies can join in her attacks. We'll have to be careful. what I trained for. As you wish.
I will not be afraid. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. I'll apologize later. I live to fight again. Is it over? I win this one. to help you. I fight another day. Emblem engage.
Return the ring. No way! I'm the one who's after the rings! We could have done this the easy way, but no! You had to be stubborn. I'm stubborn. I challenge my fate! I've got this! <laughs> Your lucky day, cutie. You get to fight me. Treat. you nicely. Please die. Ah! 
Well, you're not- 